So for those that didn't see my previous YouTube video, I got absolutely destroyed by this adorable looking kin. And now it's time for revenge. So I haven't reached the point where I feel obligated to cheat. So I'm not going to have any assistance. Random colors. Okay, I'm white. So last time I played London and it just, it crushed my London. I was losing probably within 20 moves. So I'm going to play E4. And I'm not going to listen to all the psychological trash talk that it does or the meow talk. Ooh, let's play Ponziani. Okay. Ponziani against Mins. D5 is a main line, but um, this is a tricky variation. Yeah, F6 bishop to B5. Man, it's been a while since I've looked at this one. Take... Uh, let's see if she knows the theory. Yeah, so this, this e4 move is playable, but then c4. And the main thing I remember is queen c5 and then... Or wait. No, queen d6 and then c5. Yeah, this is some like very obscure opening prep. And then d4. And if on Swan, I play bishop e3. If that move, I have to start thinking. I wonder if I can play this d5 unleashing the queen that looks risky though i could also play this knight d2 f5 knight c4 i think this is a little bit more rational i'm hitting the pawn too bishop f5 okay knight c4 wait knight c4 is it just gonna grab the pawn but then it feels like there's compensation. Queen b4 would hang a queen. Queen d7, okay. Um, knight c3? I actually like this position. I, I feel like it's not so bad. I'm out of prep, but um, just uh, the attacking potential, especially on the queen side. Like if black ever castles... Probably not going to happen. Yeah, this pawn is pinned, so can I start with d5? d5 takes and then rook d1. It's getting really tactical. Wow. d5 takes. And there's really not too many options because I think black is threatening to move the rook. There's a line d5 takes, 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 and then knight e3. I don't know. I have unlimited time. I could just go in the tank. d5, take, take, take. The problem is I don't see a, a clear follow-up after queen digs d5. Oh, maybe I have rook d1. Rook d1, if takes, I just take back. The queen still hit. Okay, let's try this. At least there's a couple options. Yeah, so rook d1. I originally rejected this move because takes, but I don't have to take the queen. Take this way. Bishop d6, bishop f4. How many pawns am I down? I'm down two pawns. And where's my compensation? Okay, let's start with rook d1. Yeah. I mean, taking looks attractive, but after takes, I have two things hanging. Really? Really? Allowing me to take the rook with check. I am a tiger. I feel like that's a lie. I feel like you're just stockfish. Take, take. I'm up the exchange. What is it saying? The light that burns twice as bright burns half as long. 
Philly, it, it's just confusing me with po poetry. I have to stay focused on the position. Uh, okay, your queen is gone too. Oh no, both are queens. 93, knight d5? I feel like I've I've already tricked Mins with the Ponziani. Yeah, I'm, am I out material? I guess it's technically equal material. Okay, Rook for Bishop and two pawns. Uh, there's not too many options for the Knight. Knight e3 is the most logical. Knight a3 is actually interesting, hitting this pawn. Uh, maybe inducing b4. Wait, Knight a3. Knight three, knight ninety seven is weird. I'm actually leaning towards knight a three because black has to take some measures to not lose his pawn. If b four, knight b five looks attractive. On the surface, it looks really ugly, but okay. And I don't mind the trade, so it's the off the color bishop situation. Um. Rook b8, or uh, rook b1, and then knight a7. Oh, this should be okay. Knight a7, bishop c5. I feel like I have chances this game. f3 takes, 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 rook d7. I don't want to screw it up. f3. Mins has gone silent. Yeah, rook d7. You're not a tiger, you're just a fish. A very powerful fish. Wait, I have this move and then king g1. I feel like it's playing much weaker than it played against me yesterday. But I have to still be like really, really careful because the position is so imbalanced. And I have options here. I can take on b5 or take on c7 or play king f2. King f2, bishop g4. The thing about king f2, I'm not threatening to take the bishop, but I'm threatening to play this. And that's actually a pretty big threat. Also, I'm I'm not looking at chat. I have alerts muted. This is this is serious chess. Yeah, I feel like rook eight is going to be some really annoying counterattack. Rook c seven, rook eight. Yeah, move the bishop, and then it's already rook g two ideas. So king f two probably makes sense on more levels. Okay, I don't want to lose. So I I feel like rook c seven and king f two will actually just transpose. But king f2 maybe keeps more options open. Let's start with king f2. Yeah. So now rook c7. But I have the option of rook g1 as well. Which I don't think does much. King d5. Okay, let's go ahead and take. This is so scary. Really? If I check? Oh, it just wants to win a2. Wait, what if I take here? Hitting the bishop yet again. I'm paranoid that I'm overlooking something. There's a, there is a bishop c4, but then I take on b7. I'm so paranoid about everything here, though. But let's go for it. Okay, if I take... Oh... I see the point. Takes, takes, takes bishop d5. I think it's a losing rook ending. 
Don't hurt me, Mins. Wait, I can take and then take on G7 and take on H7. Wait, this is fascinating. Let's go for this. Yeah. It feels so close to a draw. Wait, take bishop d5. I have like some rook b3. No. If I take on, I mean, taking on g7 actually looks practically like a my best option. I have a bad feeling about it though. Maybe I I can start with like rook b2. Okay, let's start by taking. Because the knight can't be taken. It's just losing, I think. Okay. That's such an engine move. Not taking either pawn. Just trying to suffocate my king. I do have this move, though, but then rook c3. I mean, at this point, I think I'm playing for a draw. Do I have this move? Like, just run the king towards the center? This is so complex, though. King e3, take king d4. Rook d3, king c5. I like the prospect of having two outside passers. The problem is I'm losing a2 and a lot of lines. Like, rook h5. King f4, check. Ooh, there is a trick. Okay, rook h4, king, rook h5. King g4. I was thinking I could trick it into like trading off everything. The trick was this line. Knight g4, take, take, and then rook here. I think would force a draw. So rook h5. Ah, how do I do this? Rook h5, king g4, maybe rook h6. You gotta try it. Starting with a check. Yeah. Now, if I could sack the rook and then defend the the, the end game. Wait, do I have takes in rook b4? Is it giving me a draw? Wait a minute. Rook e5. It's the same idea. As the other line, rook e5, rook b4. No, there's rook c3. Oh, <laughs> it's so close. Wait, rook c3. Yeah, this is losing for me. Oh, it feels so close. So if I play this, I think rook h6. I mean, there's not too many options here. Rook h6. So I'm putting the rook uh, on a potential forking square, but the king's in the way. That's such an engine move. Yeah, I, I still feel like a draw is within grasp. Rook b4. Maybe it's just toying with me. Maybe it's like treating me as a cat toy. I'm just getting like pushed around by its paws. Rook g7, king f5, rook h5, the king retreats. I mean, this this position is so complex. I also can start with maybe I start with h3, ensuring g4 is under control, and then I go after the f pawn. Doesn't look promising though. It's so annoying I can't play rook b2 because of the fork. Rook g7. Rook g7, king f5, king. I, I need counterplay. Counterplay is probably top priority. 
but not getting forked is also a top priority. Okay, let's start with this. Because I'm going to have an additional check. So I'll move the rook to a better square. Like rook h5. I keep saying it's a tiger. What does that mean? Maybe rook c3 here. Or uh, rook g3 defending c3. Knowing how bots work, if I can get an equal position, sometimes it will just like give up and allow an easy draw. But even if it's slightly better, it's going to torture me. Okay, I have to accept the fact I'm losing a2, and then I just have to hold on to c3. I like the rooks where they are. Like, they're not vulnerable. Don't mate me. I don't think I'm getting mated. Yeah, king d4. Okay, that's a good sign. Wait, did it just repeat? Why is it going back every two moves? <laughs> if I move back, it's repetition. Knowing how Stockfish works, I don't think it's going to repeat, though. But I could play this. But that might allow rook a4. I have to be really careful with how I do this. Right, rook e3, rook a4, king c5, rook c4, king b5. I think I'll just move back to e3. If it repeated once, it might repeat three times. King e3. Yeah, let's uh let's play king e3. Let's see if it repeats. Ooh. If it plays on e5, I claim the draw. Do. Oh! Okay, it's trying to torture me. So what is this? Rook a4. I mean, it looks like I can take the bishop. The problem is 95. 95, king c5, rook a5, king c6, rook takes bishop. Or rook takes rook. Um, I feel like king c5 is the way to go, but then it's basically tricking me into the line that I didn't want to go into. But there's not really a great way to avoid this. And maybe the rook can go so it, there's more potential checks. I think I should play this because it, it makes way for the pawn as well. And the rook's not vulnerable on h8. It feels so wrong because, I mean, the bishop's attacked. Maybe I start with this, but then 95. Then I guess we transpose. So it's a, a choice between this and this. I don't think it makes a difference. I think the lines just transpose. Um, I mean, let's start king c5. It doesn't make a difference. Start with king c5 and limit the discoveries. Oh, maybe it did make a difference. Wait, I have this. Oh, it's running rook a5. It's so sneaky. Okay. What if I play like rook h8? I mean, that, this was my original plan anyway. The rook is tied down too. I mean, the problem is... If I play king b5, immediately there's a, or there's rook a5. But for example, rook h8, f5, king b5, then it's okay. Let's go for this. 
You have triumphed in existing for longer than many before you. Hey, I've, I've survived 41 moves. The two games I played prior, it defeated me in, in 38 moves in both games. Okay, I think it's time to push. I mean, I have to allow... Wait a minute. It's about to, like, checkmate me in some twisted way. Rook C4... King b6, rook c6. I think I have to go for h4. I'm trying to imagine the scenario where I get mated, but... I mean, my rook's going to be covering the... The rank. Okay, I can go back to the center. Oh, if I go back to the center, there's my f5. If I go back this way? Wait a minute. Go back this way. Am I already losing? Am I dead wh wh whichever way I go? Rook b5, king here. Knight here. King here. I might have to like go into the corner. I think this is even worse. Check here. I think I should run this way. Towards the dark square corner. I have this move, but then there's this move. If I play this move, knight c4, king here. It's so close to checkmating me. Wait, I have this move. Check there. I don't see the mate though. But I'm terrified. If I play here, then like some, I think rook b2, and then I can't stop bishop c2. So I have to try this. Okay. Don't hurt me. Rook a3, really? If I play this? Oh, the bishop controls h. I have this move though. It just wants to play this. I have to go for this. This is ridiculous. I, I can't I can't stop rook a3 without losing material. I can't even set up a stalemate trap. Oh let's play this. Wait a minute. Check. King d3. Ah. Wait, King d3? Can I win the f-pawn? If I can win the f-pawn, then there's still hope. Start by pushing. Now, it's still interesting, actually. Just check, and then here. Mm. I mean, a low depth engine is known to like sometimes spoil end games. Wait a minute. Check here. Check. Yeah, it's just going to go for mate. This is so frustrating. Let's try this. Preparing rook g7. And then check. I think I check again. But king c2 is coming. What about this? Ah! I think I'm dead. Unless there's some in yeah, this move. Yeah, I think this is the best chance. 
Yeah, it just wants to destroy me. It's even it probably it should say, oh no, my knight. But uh yeah, if I take the knight, it's I get mated. So I have to play this. Oh no. Yeah, it's playing like stockfish. I'm dead. What to do? Let's let's see how long I can survive. How's it gonna finish me off? Oh, I can't survive much longer. I should have played King B2. Oh no, my king. Oh, I felt like I, I had chances that game. I I feel like I tricked it with a Ponziani and it still beat me. Alright, GG. Uh maybe this is another video for what is turning into a YouTube series taking on Mins. Mins is uh is merciless. I should do some post game analysis too. Uh I made two blunders. Let's see, let's see if this loads. I just wanna yeah. I just wanna see the evaluation at various points. Um Hopefully people can see this. So the the opening was all preparation. Like castling. Turn on the eval bar too. Um, the engine will say white is a little bit worse, but I think I managed to salvage things. Queen takes e5, d4. Queen d6, knight fd2, bishop f5. Oh, I was better. I was much better after knight c4. Wow. So I did trick it in this Ponziani line. But, okay, I of course didn't play perfectly. Engine wants 93 here. I've, I found d5. Yeah, it takes rook t1. We traded. So I, I somehow equalized. <laughs> but, but as white... And knight a3 is playable. So I wasn't worse, but it still outplayed me. f3, f3 was playable. Or d7. Yeah, this position, like, because black has the two minor pieces, uh, it's, it's not easy for white. Like, it seemed like I'm winning a lot of pawns in various lines, but rook a8 is so strong. Um... But I was still okay. Like, it's not a decisive advantage for black. Engine says rook c5. Not easy to find. Yeah, I, mi I miss this idea. I think rook c6 is just losing. Maybe I could have gone for this with offer slightly better practical chances. But I took on g7. I'm really curious about the moment it repeated. Outplayed me so cleanly, though. Knight c4, king d4. And I went back. And I repeated a second time. And I, it, it knew not to repeat three times. Yeah. Man, I feel like a cat toy. King c5. This was, this was a good game, though. I don't think there were any like super obvious blunders. And I had my chance without the opening. If this goes on YouTube, uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more Min's content. Um, I'm trying to do my best against it, but it's a very strong feline. Yeah, it looks like Looks like Min's played too strong for game review to handle what to do.